In this lecture, we are going to study about sequences and series. We'll start by sequences. We define and then do some examples. So a sequence can be thought to be a list of numbers written in some order. So we say a sequence is a list of numbers written in some order. For example, we have A1, A2, A3, A4, etc. So in this list, A1 is called the first term. A2, the second term. And in general, AN is the nth term. So that's what we mean by a sequence, a list of numbers in a definite order. So the key word here is a definite order. So notation. So the sequence. A1, A2, A3, AN is also denoted by you just write AN or you can just write a n n from one to infinity. So this is how we can denote that sequence. So our uh, examples. So the first one we can have this sequence n n plus 1 n from 1 to infinity so this is an example of a sequence so in this case a n is given by n over n plus 1 and then we can list a few terms of this sequence as so when n is 1 we'll have a half when n is 2, we'll have 2 over 3. When n is 3, we'll have 3 over 4. When n is 4, we have 4 over 5, etc. So this is that sequence A. And then B can have this sequence. So here, 
the an becomes this negative one raised power n into n plus one over three raised power n. And then a few terms are negative two over three, three over nine, negative four over 27, five over 81, So this, uh, this is, uh, these are some of the terms of this sequence in B. And then C. So here, A n becomes this root n minus 3 with n given by starting from 3 and then if you can list a few terms we have 0 1 square root of 2 square root of 3 so that's what we have and then you can have another example d And starting from zero to infinity. So here, a n is cos of pi n over six, where n starts from zero. And then a few terms are one square root of three over two, zero then cos of n pi over six. So those are some of the examples. So we can also have now example two. We can also have an other examples. Without a simple equation. For example, uh, we can have the sequence Pn, where Pn is a population of the world. as of January 1st in the year N. And then we can have another example. If we let A N be the digit In the nth decimal place, of the number e, then it's a well-defined sequence whose 
first few terms are seven one eight two eight one eight two eight four five and then you can have C the Fibonacci sequence the famous Fibonacci sequence The Fibonacci sequence Fn is defined recursively by the conditions F1 equals to 1, F2 equals to 1, and general Fn is given by Fn minus 1 plus Fn minus 2 for n greater than or equals to 3. So here, each term So each term is the sum of the preceding two terms. So uh, if you are to list a few terms, we have the first few terms. R, so one, one. Two, three, five, eight, thirteen, twenty-one, eighty-six. So those are some of the examples of the sequences that uh, we can have. So then uh, we have another notation. So we say in general, the notation limit as n approaches infinity of a n equals to n equals to l means the terms of the sequence a n can be made arbitrarily close to n close to l by taking
and sufficiently large. So that's what we mean. So now we define what we mean by the limit of a sequence. So this one leads us to our definition. Definition. A sequence AN has a limit L and we write limit as n approaches infinity of a n equals to l or we can write a n tends to l as n tends to infinity if for every Epsilon greater than zero, there corresponds integer n such that. The absolute value of an minus l less than epsilon whenever n is greater than capital N. So that's the definition. And then we add another condition and say if limit as n approaches infinity of a n exists we say that the sequence converges or is convergent otherwise we say the sequence diverges or is divergent. So a sequence converges or is convergent provided the limit as n approaches infinity of the sequence exists, otherwise it is divergent. So have a theorem if limit as n approaches infinity say as x approaches infinity of f of x equals to l 
and f of n equals to a n when n is an integer then limit as n approaches infinity of a n is equals to l now there's another definition definition so limit as n approaches infinity of a n equals to infinity means that for every positive number m there is an integer capital N such that A N is greater than capital M whenever small n is greater than capital N. Then we we'll say from this from this definition, if limit as n approaches infinity of a n equals to infinity, then the sequence a n is divergent but in a special way we say that a n diverges to infinity so loss of limits for sequences So if A N and B N are convergent sequences and C's are constant. then the following loss holds one limit as n approaches infinity of a n plus b n is equals to limit as n approaches infinity of a n plus limit as n approaches infinity of b n number two limit as n approaches infinity of a n minus b n is limit as n approaches infinity 
of a n minus limit as n approaches infinity of b n. Number three, limit as n approaches infinity of c a n is the same as c times limit as n approaches infinity of a n. Number four, limit as n approaches infinity of a n times b n is the same as limit as n approaches infinity of a n times limit as n approaches infinity of b n. Number five, limit as n approaches infinity of a n over b n equals to limit as n approaches infinity of a n over limit as n approaches infinity of b n whenever limit as n approaches infinity of b n is not zero because we don't divide by zero and then six limit as n approaches infinity of c is equals to c these are the same laws we saw when we were doing calculus and then another thing that you need to know we say the squid theorem that you also saw in calculus the squid theorem can also be adapted for sequences. So IE If a n less than or equals to b, b n less than or equals to c n, for n greater than greater than or equals to a number n naught, and limit as n approaches infinity of a n equals to l which is the same as limit as n approaches infinity of c n equals to l then limit as n approaches infinity of b n must also be l So we're just laying the ground and then a theorem. If limit as n approaches infinity of the absolute value of the sequence a n equals to zero, then limit as n approaches infinity of a n must also be zero. So let's do some examples. If you remember how to work out limits of functions of elementary functions, as we saw in calculus, then you'll be able to survive here also. So uh, find limit as n approaches infinity of n over n plus 1. 
So as we saw in Cal class, so if you are getting limiters and approaches and finish, so what you do is simply now divide both the numerator and denominator by the highest power of the variable, variable the highest power and the denominator. So therefore, this solution for this one would be limit as n approaches infinity of now n is the high, so we'll have n over n plus 1 over n, which will be given by limit as n approaches infinity of 1 over 1 plus 1 over n, which is the same as using loss of limit, so the limit as n approaches infinity of 1 over limit as n approaches infinity of 1 plus limit as n approaches infinity of 1 over n. Clearly, this will give us 1 over 1 plus 0, just be 1. And then next one, number 2, find limit as n approaches infinity of ln of n over n. So solution so notice that both the numerator and the denominator approach infinity. as n approaches infinity. So uh, next statement that we need to say, uh, the next thing that you need to remember is that we cannot apply L hospital's rule directly because it applies not sequences but to functions of a real number. So, however, we can apply L hospital's rule to the related function f of x equals to ln of x over x and obtain limit as x approaches infinity of ln of x over x is given by limit as x approaches infinity. So we differentiate this and this. So we'll have 1 over x over 1 should be limit as x approaches infinity of 1 over x, which is 0. And then we say by theorem 2, We have now remember theorem two is the one that said so remembering that
now, remembering that that if limit as x approaches infinity of f of x equals to l and f of n equals to a n when n is an integer then limit as n approaches infinity of a n is given by l then we can conclude now that uh, the limit that we have to calculate uh, then we have limit as n approaches infinity of ln of n over n equals to zero. So remember you have to go into the process of now changing the sequence to be a function of single variable for you to conclude this one. You don't just do it from the word go because you can't apply a lot of rule directly to the sequences. They are not functions of a single variable then. So uh, next example, uh, Number three, determine whether the sequence a n given by negative one raised power n is convergent. Or divergent. So solution, we can just write a few terms of the second and see what is happening. Solution. Uh, a few terms are negative one, one, negative one one negative one one negative one etc so therefore we can even graph it so this is the n this is the a n so one two three Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this is negative one, this is positive one. So uh, this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. So one is negative one. Two is positive one, three is negative one, four is positive one, five is negative one, five is positive one, uh, six is positive one, seven negative one, eight positive, nine negative, ten positive. So this is an oscillation. So it says since. the terms oscillate between one and negative one infinitely a n does not 
approach any number. Thus, limit as n approaches infinity of negative one raised power n does not exist i.e. the sequence is divergent. And then next example. Number four, evaluate limit as n approaches infinity, negative one power n over n if it exists. So solution limit as n approaches infinity of absolute value of this same sequence, the same as limit as n approaches infinity of one over n, which is zero. So therefore, by the theorem stated earlier, limit as n approaches infinity of negative one raised power n over n equals to zero. So that's what you have. So we'll stop there and then next time we'll continue the same sequence in series.